What's up guys, I'm of course the Joker, and although today is Thursday, which isn't normally my normal upload day, I still want to bring you guys this video because today where I am, I'm going to show you guys this, is of course the new structure deck, Cyber Link, that's why the title is that, and of course I'm going to be opening up this, but in this bag I do have two others, and I'm actually going to be saving them for later, if you guys actually want to see a budget deck profile version of this, I'll be happy to make that, I'll be super excited to make that, you know, smash that thumbs up button, comment down below that you really want to see that. And I'll be happy to do that. So I picked up this thing because I love picking up the new structure decks. I always pick up the new structure decks. I always try to now these days. Because half the time it always comes out with some really good stuff. I mean, we've got the new three Link Monsters. Uh, one of the Biotron cards, which, like, if you got the last set, which I did. And if you guys want to also see a Cybers deck of all the Cybers cards that I currently have up today, I'm, of course, happy to make that. But, you know, we got Digitron. We've got all these awesome cards. And I do have my... Folder in case I come across any ones that I just want to put right into the folder. But without further ado, let's just get right into this. And you know, I want to try and keep the boxes. I like to try and keep the boxes. That's why I'm going in so nicely with this. But I mean, I absolutely love opening up these boxes. I absolutely love doing that. I love bringing you guys these videos. Hopefully you guys do like them. If you do, you know, just smash that thumbs up button so I know that you do. And I was actually really happy to get this box simply because... It comes with three awesome reprints off the top of my head. You know, you got Dimensional Barrier, you got the Cosmic Cyclone, and you got Storming Mirror Force. So there's the cards right there. Off the bat, we've got Eco, Inco Talker, or Eco Talker, whatever you want to call it. But I mean, of course, we also do get the new manual, which, oh, I love it. Marshmallow again, Marshmallow, and it's showing the last cards that were in the last set. Just pretty much. Like, this is pretty much the last one, just with a different picture and some new cards that we've gotten in this set. But, I mean, it's basically the same as the last one. So, I mean, we've also got some fusion monsters. Loving seeing this element of heroes, but, you know, same as usual. This really helps people out. And we also have the new playmat. I mean, it's just plastic, and, of course, I'm going to keep on using my Joker playmat because I love my Joker mat. But this is really nice to see. I mean, it's the new setup of, like, Spell and Trap Zone. Also, Pendulum Zone, Field Zone, so it's like, it really does help you guys out if you want to get into that. And of course, you do have the three main cards of the Tri Wizard, of the Wizard, of course, and the Lady, as well as the main card, which is Eco Talker. But without further ado, let's just get right into this. And I don't want to be talking for way too long. I mean, I don't think you guys like it when I talk too long. If I do, if, if you do, you know, tell me down below. If you don't, then I'll try and talk faster, but... I don't want to go into every single card too much, but because this is a lot new to me of, because I actually haven't looked into all the different cards in this set, I know what some of them are, but I mean, I haven't looked into all of them, so that's why I'm just going to be talking about different ones here and there. So we got the Eco Talker, I mean, this is pretty good to link monster, got two pointers, takes three monsters. It, although it is a link three and it says two plus Cybers monsters, as I said in my link video, you know, that's what it takes. You have to use three monsters, and I know a lot of people know that, but in case you didn't, that's how that pretty much works. And if you don't know how Link works, I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. If you need any help, just comment down below. Of course, as always, I'll be happy to help you. So this one's actually pretty nice to see. I mean, once per turn before damage calculation, if your monster, this card points to battles an opponent's monster with high attack, then it, you can make that monster unable to be destroyed by that battle so it pretty much is just a protection also you take no battle damage from that battle after damage calculation i'll have this card or one monster's card points to gain attack equal to like that's super amazing like so you're gaining attack until the end of this turn it protects your monster and just straight up you don't take any damage which is really nice so it's a really useful one we also got the new nice one, Trigate Wizard. I mean, it takes two plus monsters. Once again, though, it is a length three. And this one's really nice. Um, just artwork in general is just really nice to see. And the effects are pretty good. I'm going to just skim over them pretty much. Like, this card gains these effects based on the number of links, uh, monsters that are co-linked to it. So, I mean, if you've got Eco Talker and you've got Trigate Wizard, I know you probably wouldn't ever have this set up because it is absolutely crazy and stupid to do that but so you'll probably go eco talker or that just there's just an example but i mean 
right off the bat you'd get the first effect which is if this monster is co-linked uh, sorry if a monster co-linked to this card battles an opponent's monster any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent is doubled so that's pretty much like you can go for some OTKs there you can just do that double damage which is really nice the second effect is once per turn you can target one card on the field banish it so if it's got two that's just banishing and the third is generically just a negate the activation uh, of a quick effect so that's pretty much just getting around annoying stuff that you don't want to do so it's a really nice card if you can get all those links if you want but you know regardless it's still got some really nice effect and the last one is binary sorceress and this just takes two monsters so you know that's another generic link monster we've got which is really nice we, we should really get some more of these generic ones but i mean it all depends on the effect i mean the last one we got was proxy dragon but this one is this card gains these effects based on the number of co-linked to this card so one when a monster co-linked to this card battles your opponent's monster and inflicts battle damage to them you gain that much life points and the second one is once per turn quick effect you can target one Face up monster you control until the end of this turn, halve that attack. Wait, that you control? Oh yeah, sorry, halve that attack of one monster. And if you do, add that lost attack to the other monsters. So, I mean, you halve the attack of one of your monsters, but you get to power up another one. Um, I don't know, I'd personally always be going for the first effect, but that's just me. Then we also got Dual Assembly Worm. Now, I just wanted to go into the effects of these guys, like, I'll bring it closer to you guys get it really nice for you guys so in case you want to read the effects of any of these cards you know just so you can easily can i mean this card is pretty decent i mean you can pause it right there you can just pause it on the name but it's really nice to see that we also got sign it back door target one cybers monster you control banish it and if you do add one cybers monster from your deck to your hand also uh, whose attack is lower, so that's just searching and adding, and then during your next standby phase, return that banished by this effect to, yeah. Uh, yeah, just return one to the field, and it can also attack directly that turn, which is just really nice. So, you know, if your opponent's going to attack you, that monster's going either way, you get to banish it, special out another one, and then next turn you get it to attack directly. Then we've got Digitron, I mean, if you've seen the others, this is just pretty much the brother version. Dot Scaper, which pretty much looks like a pixelated card. If this card is sent to a graveyard, you can special s summon this card if this card is... Yeah, that's just absolutely amazing. So if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card. If this card is banished, you can special summon this card. You can only use the effect of Dot Scaper once per turn and only use... Uh, one. You can only use one Dot Scaper effect and only once that turn you can only use the effect of oh so it's only once per turn which i mean if this card was continuous and you could continuously do that even if it was once per turn yeah you know that would be really power that would be op of just protection but i mean it's got low attack i feel as if they should have done that then you got client uh backlinker the balancer lord rom claudia the bots uh staggered Cyberus Wizard, Backup Secretary, S Stack Reviver, Launcher Commander. So that's all pretty much new stuff. Then we're getting the Trigodio, Summoner Monk, Card Trooper, Debris Dragon, the Mathematician, Crane Crane, which is really nice because you can do a, quite a few effects with this. You know, you, when this card is normal summon, you can just special out level 3, and that's just really nice. I wanted to bring this up because I did use it in my Ghost Trick deck profile. And I mean, I might actually, because I've now just got some more of these now, I might bump that up to two, I don't know. If you guys want to see an updated version of that where it's not using the whole Gofu lineup because that's sadly now limited to one as soon as the 6th of November hits, you know, I'll be happy to do that. Then we also got Magician's, uh, Magician of Faith, Jester Confit. Oh, this is gorgeous. Now... I th I'm pretty sure this is a reprint, but I've never actually seen this card. It's probably a really old school card, but I'm happy to see that because it is a clown and that's going right into my clown folder. So that's why I'm going to put it up here. At the end of the video, I will be showing off that, like the small clown collection I've slowly been getting because I love my clowns. 
Then we also got Glow Up Bulb, which is really nice. Although it is common, I mean, you can do so many plays with this card and it's just absolutely amazing. King Kill Bio. Then moving on to the spells, we got Soul Charge, Shuffle Reborn, DD, Arch, Different Dimension, Gold Sarcophagus, Mind Control. Mind Control, I want to stop right here for a little bit because Mind Control is just absolutely amazing. You're targeting one monster your opponent controls. And if it's a link, as long as it's not Deco Talk, because that can stop itself from being targeted and all that, you can just take that and use it its own thing. So, like, Mind Control is definitely a really nice card. Sadly, it is limited, but, you know, this is just a really nice card, and it's easier to pick up now. Then we also got the Cosmic Cyclone, which is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm actually going to put these two cards right over here, because those two cards I'm definitely happy I got. Um, Cosmic Cyclone is just absolutely gorgeous. Moon Mirror Shield, Where Art Thou? Then we're going on to the traps, of course. I mean, we've got Recoder Alive, Miracles Wake, Powerful Rebirth, Premature Return, Swamp Mirror. And this card looks absolutely awesome. Like, look at that. It looks basically like a zombie. So, activate this card by declaring one monster and one attribute special summon this card as a normal monster. <laughs> Wait, what? That's absolutely gorgeous. So you just... Level 4. Um, this card is also... With the type and attribute. So, okay. And one attribute. Special summon this card. Okay, so it's like... You just call an attribute and call a monster. So that's just absolutely amazing. I mean... With all these cards and all that... Um, they're restricted on that they have to actually be like a cyburst or something. So Swamp Mirror... Would be really helpful. So yeah, I'm gonna put that right there because like if you guys want to see that deck, like I'm already coming up with the combos, I'm really happy to see that. Then we also got Quantum Cat, Storming Mirror Force, that dimensional barrel, which is really nice, although it is common now. I mean, I'll always prefer the secret rare, but now that I've actually got a place out of this, even though it's in common, it's still nice to see. The ghost from the uh, Ghost from the past, banish two monsters from your graveyard, then target one attack position monster on the field, change its attack to zero until the end of the turn. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Like, that's that's really annoying. Um, I don't know if you can use this pretty much as a quick play. If you could, that's going to be even better. And then the last card is just the Duel Links. I mean, I don't personally play Duel Links. Um, download for free now. So, yeah, I guess it's got a code right there. I don't know what that's going to be used for. But, I mean... If any of you play Door Links and know what this code is, um, like, I'll be happy to, you know, share that with you, I guess. I'm not going to use it, I don't play Door Links. Um, I got into the game, but I never really liked it because it wasn't like Yu-Gi-Oh for me. It wasn't, like, you could only be restricted to three videos, and I'm pretty sure Yugi no no sums it up best with their amazing comedy videos. So, I mean, if you haven't seen that, check that out. That's just absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm... I'm actually really happy with this deck. Um, I'm absolutely happy that I got Jester Conflict. And now that I've actually got three of them because I've gained three structure decks, of course, I'm going to be putting them somewhere. I don't know yet, but that's just absolutely amazing. That's all, of course, going to be going into my folder right now. Let's go and make some room right here. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys right now. Like, this is pretty much just a folder of different collections I try and work on. Um, like... I know other people have their collections of Yugi No No has Lave Moth. I have Clowns. Clowns, come on, let's meme this into some support. I know he lo memed Lave into support. I reckon we should meme Clowns in to gain more support because that would be absolutely amazing. I did do a deck profile now. It probably does need an update because of Gofu now being limited as soon as the 6 comes into place. But, you know, oh well. But, of course, that actually ends it for this deck box opening. As I said, if you guys want to see this, as a budget deck profile, I'll be happy to open up all three, you know. Even if you guys actually want me to show you guys the best way to make a budget deck profile, I'll of course be happy to do that. You know, just make sure, comment down below that you want to see that. Smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video or if you just enjoy this deck in general. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. And as always, have fun dueling and of course, till the next video, that is it for the Joker.